I cannot promise you a life of sunshine and I cannot promise you riches, wealth or gold. I cannot promise you an easy pathway that leads away from change or growing old. But I can promise all my heart's devotion and a smile to chase away your tears of sorrow. A love that's true and ever growing and a hand to hold in yours through each tomorrow's. And a marriage is created when two people are willing to accept each other for who they are and for all that they have and they have the strongest desire to share that in their life ahead. Your marriage will enable you to share your dreams and longings and your joys and sorrows and help each other through any uncertainties in life. Life is a bumpy road from time to time, but above all, you'll have your strong love to support you. And love, as we all know, is by far the most important aspect of marriage. But I urge you both not only to love each other, but also care for each other as well. Christopher, do you take Amanda to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. And will you love, respect and cherish her for the whole of your life together? I will. Amanda, do you take Christopher to be your lawful wedded husband? I will. And will you love, respect and cherish him for the whole of your life together? I will. Thank you both. I can therefore now ask, who gives this lady's hand in marriage? I do. Sir, thank you. Can I therefore have your permission to proceed further with the ceremony? You can. Accept this ring as a sign, as a sign of our marriage. Of our marriage. All that I am, all that I am, I give to you. I give to you all that I have, all that I ask. I share with you. I share with you for the whole of our life. For the whole of our lives together. Together. But it's a greater joy and privilege now for me to pronounce you husband and wife. And so, in time-honored style, would you like to kiss your beautiful wife? First of all, I would like to welcome um, Chrissy into our uh, family by saying, as you all know, and you already know by now, that he's a wonderful lad, kind, thoughtful. I could, couldn't wish for a, a nicer, kinder, thought, more thoughtful uh, son or son-in-law uh, to have. So uh, welcome Chrissy to the family. And now I must move on to my wonderful daughter, my beautiful daughter, who you've got to admit, is made a lovely bride today. But it just leaves me to say how proud I am of my daughter, how wonderful she looks today, how wonderful she's done to set a lot of this in motion, and how a wonderful couple they make. So I would like you to all raise your glasses and uh, toast the happy couple. May they live long and prosper to Amanda and Chrissy, or Chrissy and Amanda, I should say, uh, all the best for the future. Chrissy is an amazing bro. Um, he'll help anybody else in this room. I know he wants to have a family. It should be bought by a legal if you'd have many chipmas. But he'll help any of us at a heartbeat. Drop of a hat, he'll be there, no matter the situation. And I just want to wish you all the best in your future. I remember the day I went to see Marie and Philip about asking Amanda to marry me. I was so nervous, as you can all guess. Phil was amazing and said yes straight away. But Marie went a bit quiet and still today I'm not sure if I've got her permission. Amanda supported me through some tough times. She, she never fails. She never fails to put a smile on my face and make me happy. We've enjoyed hundreds of amazing moments together 
She's the most beautiful and caring woman I have ever met. I don't understand what I have done to deserve a woman like this. But I always promise to make you smile. She is not just my best friend, she is the love of my life. I am so excited to spend the rest of my life with you.